Hey there. It's been a while I made a video about Windows Phone. This video is about to showcase my app that made for Windows 10 Mobile. I hope you will like the video. Okay, let's get started. The app is called CMD Injector. You may already aware of this app, but let me explain for the unknown users. It is an app that used to injects and allows you to use the actual CMD on your Windows 10 Mobile. With the help of the CMD, the app has achieved the limitless access to the system and provides ultimate feature that Windows 10 Mobile doesn't provide by default. Here you can see the change log of the app from the latest release to its initial release. Okay, on first launch of the app, the phone should be rebooted to initialize the app. Let's get back. Home. Here you can inject the CMD as system-wide, which lets you access the CMD across other apps like Windows Universal Tool, and from other devices through a Telnet client. And, you have two injection options, temporary and permanent. The permanent will stays remain if you perform a hard reset, but the other option will get wiped. Terminal, it's a build-in command prompt. It is almost like the PCs, but limited to provide the user inputs on runtime. Startup. It executes the CMD commands on phone boot up. Also after an hard reset if you injected CMD permanently. By default there are developer and interop unlocks commands. Pac-Man. An application installer and manager. It has many features, but mainly the one that makes it unique from all other app installers, the ability to install an signed app, which is no matter APPX or XAP. Let's try install a XAP. As it's an unsigned package, we should select the deployment mode in the deployment option. Installation completed. Okay, let's see if the app installed or not. Noise. Now let's try managing an app. In here you can see all the installed apps listed as category-wise based on its property. Okay, I chose the app I just installed now. Now we can launch, move, backup, see the app info and more etc. Currently the app and data folder are not launchable on Windows Build 1703 or higher without the File Explorer tweak. So, I will show you its launches after the tweak applied. The manager will reload on app upgrade or downgrade from a backup, but not with the data. 
The loopback enable or disable help the selected app to access the CMD if it is designed for it. Snapper, an advanced screen capturer and recorder. Using the capturer, you can take screenshots without having a hardware button by inputting the amount of shots needed and the delay between each shots. Voila! Here the screenshots are. And screen recorder. The default frame rate and bit rate values are the best to get a better output, but you can try your values of course. Perfect! Here is the clip, but unfortunately I don't have a video player to play it. Boot config. A GUI for boot configuration data. Before using it, I highly recommend you to install the boot app developer menu from below to recover the BCD in case of corruption. Here you have many options to edit the BCD in a click. If you are familiar with editing BCD, you know what you can do here. Tweak box. As its name, it is a collection of tweaks. There are some tweaks that you can only find in the tweak box, like live lock screen, pin folders to the start screen, etc. In the file explorer tweak, you can change the default folder on launch, add custom path to the navigation routes including this PC path which lets you access the route. And also you can change the icons of the routes. As you can see now, the default folder has changed to this device, as well as its icon, and also added this PC to the navigation routes. Now let me show you the Pac-Man can now be able to launch the app and data folders. Works just fine. Now let's get back. The power options lets you access the power button without requiring it physically. And also you can pin at the start screen by holding the buttons as well. And the volume options also lets you access the volume buttons without requiring it physically. Search options lets you replace the default app Cortana on search button press and hold. On first change, it required reboot to make it work. So I will skip for now. And you got many other tweaks here, display orientation, Background mode with auto switching, accent color with two properties, which means you can change the Silverlight and UWP apps colors individually. You can see here, now the app has a color and the start menu has another color. 
The start menu is based on Silverlight and the app is UWP. As I said before, you can change them individually. In updates, you can enable any unsupported updates for your device, and also you can disable updates as well. In start screen, you have the tweak to add more tiles to the start screen than the OS allowed by default. The tweak to pin any folders to the start. and the tweak to auto change the wallpaper. Here we have two trigger options, lock screen unlock and interval. The lock screen unlock will change the wallpaper every time you unlock the device, and the interval will change after the certain interval you have set. Cool, the wallpaper has changed. Let's give a couple of tries. You may have noticed now that the theme switched to white. It's because of I enabled the auto theme switcher before. Let me turn it off as I don't like the light mode much. Sadly, I don't have a glance support for my Lumia to show the glance screen tweak preview. Live lock screen, make your lock screen alive. You have many options to customize it. Let me change the transition interval to 5 seconds, and you can see the wallpaper changes every 5 seconds. That's it. You can set custom live lock screen by either selecting a zip file that contains sequence images, or by selecting an images folder. The boot has the tweaks to enable dot spinning animation on phone boot up, customize boot up and shut down images with extra custom image. The navigation bar tweak lets you enable or disable on screen navigation bar with many customization, Especially you can change the burn-in color to your desired color from the list. The crash dump tweak helps you to create the application crash dump. This will be helpful for development purpose. And finally miscellaneous tweaks. It has the tweak to enable DNG file support for the camera app, and the tweak to adjust the paging file size. Okay, let me reboot the phone to apply the search options. Oh, have you noticed the shutdown image tweak added an image on shutdown? Okay, now let's try changing the search options. You see that? Now clicking the search button is now open CMD injector app. Now let's try holding. Nice.
Settings. Here you can customize the app interfaces. Help. Here you can find some questions you might have and its answers. About. It's all about the app details, credits etc. Also you can check for the app updates here. And that's it. Hope you liked the video, and don't forget to download the CMD injector. Goodbye.